Rock here with Hillbilly Half Acre Homestead. Hey, I'm Ellie. And I'm Becca. Folks, I had somebody mention something about... I made a video at some point in the past about rabbit genetics. And, of course, it was about the A-Locus and the actual color patterns. The A-Locus actually controls actual color patterns, okay? And we actually, and I've actually been waiting for little Elvis here to come back to the homestead or to come to the come to the rabbitry or whatever you want to call it. This is Elvis. He is, he's the little guy I mentioned some time back. He was out of Low Stick and Smitty. He was coming back. Well, he's here now. This is him. This is Elvis. Uh, doesn't, doesn't look exactly like his mama, but he does look close. He's just a he's just a super nice guy, but you know I had about a hundred people you know say something about how they liked that video and they appreciated it and they took a lot away from it. But you know then there's that one, you know there's always that one person that said something about the sound was wrong or something about they didn't understand anything I said. Well you know I'm speaking English, folks. If you don't speak English. No offense to anybody that doesn't speak English, but I don't know any other languages. The English is the only language I know, and I do the very best I can with it. And everybody, I hope, can understand me. Uh, as per sound, folks, I'm recording with a $179 camera, okay? This is not, this is not PewDiePie here, okay? Uh, we're, we do the best we can with what we have. That's why a lot of times we don't video because our light comes from the sun. If we don't have that sun and it's not giving us the light we need, we don't video. Right now, you're probably hearing some wind noise in the microphone. We don't have special microphones to prevent that, okay? We do the best with what we can. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to revisit that video that I made some time back. It's a rabbit genetics video and it is about the A-Locus and it discusses caster or agouti, otter, and self. Okay? On the A locus of a rabbit's color 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 of uh, genetic makeup here, okay? The A locus controls the color pattern. Okay? Now I guess to explain this, I guess we're gonna start with the bottom and work our way up. Okay? This is Jet. He is a self black. You can look him over. See? Everywhere you see color on his fur, it's black. See? There's no color. No color. See, his belly is black. You see a little bit of rust there, but that's because he's been a naughty buddy, bunny and been spraying the wall and getting himself in the process. Uh, you know, bucks do that. Uh, but he's black. Everywhere on him. Every spot. If he wasn't black, he would be a disqualification uh, for show, which Jet hasn't. You know, he wasn't really a show bunny anyway. But I still have to sure over that. Okay. Anyway, Becca, or Becca, Becca's over there. Uh, Jet is a self bunny, and he wasn't a show bunny anyway, but he was. We had him for a specific purpose, we still do. He is a, he is out of Tag and Iris, and he is a blue carrier. We know for certain he is a blue carrier, okay? Uh, so he is a self. Now, when it comes to the A locus, uh, the, gen the genetics, okay? If you're writing it out, okay, for you folks that need to see this to be able to visualize it, if you're writing out a genotype on paper, the A locus, you've got three things that you're going to put on there. It could be a lowercase a, that's self. It's a lowercase a with a T, or a T, or at, and that's that denotes otter, okay? That's this guy right here. Or you have a capital A, which stands for a goodie. Okay, just remember it is a goody. Okay, and this is Carmel here. He is an agouti. Okay, see this color? When it comes to dominance, okay, we've discussed dominance and re or dominant and recessive. Okay, agouti. Agouti is dominant on the A locus. It is the most dominant gene. This castor. We call this variety in many racks. We call it castor. In other rabbits, we, in other breeds, we call it chestnut. In many rex, it's called castor. Okay? And it is the most dominant uh, gene on the A locus. Okay? And this is what it looks like. 
it is most dominant, self is least dominant, okay? When it comes to carrying these jeans, this self rabbit cannot carry a goody, it cannot carry otter. This self rabbit can only carry self. So either it's a self or it's one of these. And if you were writing that out, there's two genes on each locus. So on the A locus, there's two spots. So on a self rabbit, remember we said self was lowercase a because it's least dominant? So you've got AA. That's how you would write out a self on the genotype. Okay? That self. Now, you come over here. And, this, and Elvis here, he's, he's next. Back over there. He's next on the list. Okay, he's next. This is least dominant. Okay, Otter is next. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Otter is next, okay? Stop. He is... Okay. He is least able, or, or, or he is middle, I guess, when it comes to dominance, okay? Self cannot carry otter, but otter can carry self. So you could have, if you if you have an otter rabbit, on the A locus, you could have, you know, otter is denoted by AT. So on the A locus, you could have AT, AT, which means you've got otter in both places, or you could have ATA, AT lowercase a. Okay, that means otter, AT lowercase a is an otter that carries self. Okay, now you cannot have a AT. Self cannot carry otter. Okay, if otter is pre present on a self rabbit, or if it's a self rabbit and otter gene is present, it's going to be an otter. Okay, you cannot carry. Self doesn't carry anything but itself. Okay, now the otter. He can't carry a goody. A goody is most dominant, so the otter can't carry it. So you can have, so you can have capital A and A T, which means an, an a goody that carries otter, but you cannot have an otter, which is A T, that carries capital A for a goody. Okay, this cannot carry this. Okay, so you've got these three guys here. Now, there, there's, been, there's been some confusion, evidently, on how to identify these guys, okay? One, th one thing is, is we're going to get, we're gonna get Jet done here, and we're going to put him back. Jet, you look at him, everywhere you look on him, whatever color he is, if it's, if it's not Jet or another, another self-rabbit, if you look on a self-rabbit, anywhere you look on that rabbit, his, the color you see should be black. The color of his self. Okay? See? You raise him up. Look at his belly. See? Everything. He's black. He's black everywhere. Okay? Now, that being said, Ali, if you want to, you can put Jet back where he goes. Okay, so now we've moved self, and self is least dominant. It simply means it's a solid colored rabbit. It doesn't have a color pattern other than just color everywhere on its body. Now you come to the otter. Now look here. Where do we get otter? This is also some people also call it tan uh, or tan or whatever. But I mean it's. They say the T, the A, the T that goes with the A that denotes this actually stands for tan. I don't remember it that way. I just remember it's otter. Okay. But this guy right here. Okay. If you can see. Let's show you how to identify a self, or, or, an otter. Okay, there's a couple of ways. One, look at his ear. See this chestnut looking color around the around the, the tip of his ear? Okay, that's otter pattern. Okay, see the color around the base of his ear? See that See that pretty little V-shaped color right there behind his ears? It's a little V-shaped pattern there of chestnut color. Okay, that's otter. Now, look around his eyes. See that color around his eyes? That's otter. See the color in his nose? A little under his chin here? That's otter. But what you're probably usually going to notice first is that beautiful color underneath it on his belly. And then it's going to be on his feet. See on the inside of his feet? See there? That's otter. And it also, whoop, 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 on the base of the tail. Now, the top of the tail, let me flip it here. See the top of the tail? Here, flip over, buddy. Top of the tail is going to be the color 
of this, his body color, okay? And his body color, this color right in here, should be the same as a self rabbit, okay? Which means, and I didn't do this with Jet, but when you blow into the, the coat, you see that lighter under color? It's like, kind of like a, a slate blue, but you've got black and it goes down into that slate blue. That's what a self also looks like when you blow into their coat. I didn't do that with Jet, but he's already put away. I'm not gonna bring him back out to show you. Just trust me, that's the way his fur is, okay? And the otter is the same way. Okay, so you've got all this. Whoops, here buddy. You got all the color, all the color spots on him, and that says that says to you, I am Elvis and I am an otter. Okay, buddy? You've been a good boy. Now this this is caramel okay and you're gonna see a lot of similarities okay you're gonna see a lot of similarities caramel isn't a cootie okay look in his ear you still see some of that lacing around his ear look at there he's even got a little black a little black lacing around the outer part of his ear okay look see the color around his eyes and his chin and his nose a lot of that, just like you're gonna see on an otter. See, look at his tail. And then on the bottom, see he's got white, or light colored on his tail. Come here, no, come here. Like, just don't drop me, Dad. Come here, buddy. Now, look, we already did this, and we didn't have a problem. Now, now you're gonna show out now that the camera's on? All right, come here. Come here now. Flip you over here. Okay, now, see, yeah. Just take what it easy there. on his face? Huh? That? Yeah. That's just where he that's just where water runs down his chin when he takes a drink. Okay, see this? The color. See the color on his belly? Doesn't that look just like the color I just showed you on the otter? Okay? See the on the inside of his legs? Or on in his feet, see there? Just like reminds you of an otter, right? Okay, so the confusion comes where I've had a lot of people tell me, okay, so how do I know if I've got an otter? Or, or how do I know whether I have an otter or a caster? Well, remember, remember when we blew in this fur? Look. You've got a, a slate blue under color. It looks a little light in there, okay? Now, prepare to be amazed. Look at this. Now, see that rusty? See that rusty looking color down in there? That is what we call, that's, that's, if you were making a, if you were breeding a red rabbit, that rust right there is what you, what gives you your red rabbit, okay? Uh, our New Zealand reds that we have red, they actually are underneath the genetics that change them into a red, they are actually a caster or a chestnut rabbit, just like this one. They've just got other genes that take the black out. See the black hair on these guard hairs? Now look. You see those beautiful rings of color? You see that red? You see the black right around the tip? And then you see the red down in there? And then underneath, you still see the slate blue. The slate blue under color is still down in there, but see that ring of red and the ring of black? Okay, those are, that's your rufous ring, okay? And that's what makes it, that's how you know that this guy is a caster, okay? If you can't tell any other way, blowing that fur. And you see those beautiful rings of color. Now, this is a regular standard agouti, chocolate or black agouti, whatever you want to call it. Okay, <laughs> he's just a normal caster. Now, there are different versions of caster, but we don't call it caster. If this guy was a dilute, if this guy was a dilute, we would call him an opal. He wouldn't be a caster anymore. He would be an opal. And what that means is. This rufous in here, it would be a lot lighter, almost to the point of being a fawn color, and this black would be blue. And we would have, and instead of a caramel, we would have a blueberry cobbler, I guess, <laughs> or something. All right? Right, buddy? It's okay. We're almost done. Don't drop me, Dad. Now, if, <laughs> if, this, ra if this rabbit had... This rabbit, this is black. Now you can also have an agouti, 
that you can also have an agouti that has chocolate where this rabbit has black now when you do that it's going to be it's it's kind of hard to determine because the chocolate is harder to see against the red underneath okay but it's called a chocolate agouti or there's a, there's different names for it depending on you know depending on what breed it is but now one of the most beautiful mini rex rabbits that i've ever seen in my life was a chocolate agouti that was hit by the dilution gene and this right here this black right here was lilac and the under color here where you see that rufous ring in there it was a color almost to the point of being a pale lavender almost even a pink color it was the most it's they're the most beautiful rabbits i think i've ever seen in my life never never bred one i've never bred one i haven't owned one yet but it's called lynx l-y-n-x lynx and they are they are just beautiful and, and basically it is a chocolate or a lilac agouti is what it is it, it, which is chocolate hit by hit by the dilution gene and so to tell your to tell your otter blowing that fur if you see rings if you see rings you have an agouti or some variation of it okay uh, even if it's not this color okay if it's blue or something like that okay uh, I recently was second guessing myself when we were looking at some mini wrecks that we had that were affected by the snowball uh, effect genetics or whatever um, I know I put uh, I, I was second guessing myself I thought wait a minute is this an opal we're getting here but then I remembered back and some of you will actually probably remember if you like my Facebook page you'll remember I said something about we might just have to throw the rule book out the window or the genetic rule book out the window but come to find out it was the snowball gene or the snowball effect and it wasn't any it wasn't in a goody I knew that I knew in reason with the rabbits that were mama and daddy there was no way that they should be uh, no no way that they should be it could have been an opal but it sure looked that way with the color pattern underneath because it was almost a white almost a solid white creamy white looking color underneath that blue and it made it look opal uh, but anyway we're not talking about that today today we're, we're we've got selfs otters and agoutis but just but just remember how if, if you have that question I get I get that question a lot okay so it's not don't feel bad if you have that question okay how do you tell an otter from an agouti or a caster a good and just to clear it up agouti chestnut and caster agouti is the color pattern is it's this right here chestnut in most breeds is what we call the color variety that has this mini Rex and possibly Rex are different we call those casters it's the same gene agouti chestnut caster is the same gene that's affecting the color pattern on the rabbit okay don't let that confuse you okay if I say agouti one minute and I say caster the next and then five minutes from now I'm gonna say chestnut I don't know why I do that I'm not trying to confuse you on purpose but they're all the same thing and again blow into that fur okay if little Elvis here you can't see Elvis right now, he's hiding. But little Elvis here, he doesn't have that color ring. Nope. He's just got that slate blue under color, just like he's supposed to have. This guy right here. See that ring? Yep. I could do that all day long. I love looking at those beautiful. We'll, we'll get into this at a later date, but there's a couple of genes that can affect this rabbit and actually remove all this black. And it actually leaves that red behind. And you've got a red rabbit well that's not what this rabbit genetics is about but if you're interested in seeing that we might could do that for you leave a leave a comment leave a comment or leave a comment in the comments yeah yeah anyway let me know down in the comment section and if you would like to see something about red rabbits it could be reds as pertaining to mini rec could be reds as pertaining pertaining to new zealand I currently have a couple of red mini wrecks. They're they're not very well colored. 
mini Rex reds, but they are reds. And uh, we could talk about that a little bit. If someone is interested in hearing that, why well, should sure, you know, let us know down in the comments that you feel that you might benefit from that. But in the meantime, I hope this is a little bit better video. I hope I've explained self, otter, and agouti a little bit better. Remember, if you're writing it out, this is the A locus. You've got A, B, C, D, E. Basically, that pertain. Those are the basic ones. Okay, that's not all of them, but that per pertain to the rabbit's coat color. Okay, and actually, the A locus is actually the color pattern. It's not really so much the color as the pattern. And the A locus is where it all starts out. They all start out. They're either a self, an otter, or and a goody. Right, buddy? <laughs> right, buddy? Uh, he loves being on camera. He's very photogenic. No, I was just thinking that. <laughs> Alright, folks. I guess that will be, that will bring this rabbit genetics video to a close. We certainly appreciate you watching. And, uh, Allie, you, you, you've been quiet except for fighting with the monies all through this video. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have something that you would like to say before we finish this? Um, I got bit a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> they like to nibble. <laughs> and it was, by most, it was mostly by Elvis, yeah. of course. But it's see, just the a thing little love bite. What I tried to explain to Allie, that it's just because she's so sweet. <laughs> and the bunnies, they like things that are sweet. And they take a bite of Allie's finger and they think they're biting. A, they, they think they're biting a candy bar or something because she's just so sweet. Anyway, all right, folks. Allie, you gonna tell everybody yeah. something? Like, else? subscribe, click the little bell, and God bless. Thank y'all for watching.